SoFi made its debut last June after merging with Chamath Paper Hands Polyhopati as a blank check company, IPOE. Chamath recently posted a tweet saying he sold 15% of his stake in SoFi. Since Chamath isn't all in, we need to ask ourselves as SoFi investors. Who's one more to carry the boats? You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You did it. Yeah. There's a Twitter frenzy going on of people tripping the fuck out over this news. But if you're a long-term SoFi investor, then this shouldn't really be a problem for you. Also, shout out to Silence the Haters for this tweet to Chamath. In this video, we'll go over Chamath's tweet, some background on some recent moves he's made, and how this affects SoFi as a whole. You think food delivery is where like the next great breakthrough is gonna come? Looks like some of Chamath's funded companies are in the red these days. Clove's stock price is down almost 81% from its 52-week high of $28.85 per share. Virgin Galactic's stock price lost almost 77% of its value since its 52-week high of $62.80 per share. And Chamath, aka the king of SPACs, just released another love letter on Twitter regarding his market observations, and this time, it involves our very own SoFi. Chamath said the reason he sold 15% of his stake in SoFi was to build up cash reserves and fund new investments, and also to invest more into Clover Health, which has been down the drain since its all-time high of $28.85 to now around $5.61 per share at the time of recording this. A few days after Chamath posted his love letter on Twitter, Social Capital was reported to lead the funding round for Mitra Chem, a company that manufactures electric vehicle battery components in the U.S. The two other companies mentioned in his letter are Spectral and Syndica. Spectral is a fintech company that uses blockchain technology to calculate the user's credit score. Syndica, on the other hand, is a company that decentralized investing protocol and social network. Earlier this year, Chamath was also featured for selling all his personal holdings in Virgin Galactic, a company he helped go public through a SPAC deal in 2019, just like SoFi. And his reason? I freed up some capital by selling some shares in SPCE so I can keep investing at scale without impacting my pace and strategic view. I hated to do it, but my balance sheet shrank by almost 2 billion this week. Wah! Somebody call a wambulance. 2 billion. What a poor soul. Somebody start up a GoFundMe for poor Chamath. Just kidding, Chamath. SoFi wouldn't be where it's at without your help bringing it public. And he only sold 15%. It's not like he sold half of his position. Not that bad. Chamath still holds 85% of SoFi, but since his tweet, SoFi is already down by 1.5%, bringing it back to around $20 per share at the time of recording this. In the famous words of Fall Out Boy, sugar, we're going down swinging. And if this keeps dipping, we'll be right there swinging and buying more. If you bought a house for $250,000 and someone offers to buy it for $200,000 a few months later, you wouldn't sell it. That's the same thing with stocks. We buy and hold. We're not selling SoFi unless something awful fundamentally changes within the business or we need to free up capital like Chamath. We've been covering SoFi for around seven months since May when it was around $14 and we've made a playlist with over 50 videos if you want to check those out. Listen, we don't hate Chamath for doing this. A lot of people might be furious about this, but just know it's not the end of the world. In Chamath's tweet, he wrote that he's still supporting SoFi. Wherever the stock price goes within the next few weeks, just know we'll constantly be buying the dip and holding. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching and until next time. Peace.